By using Python, OpenCV, MediaPipe, and an ESP32 game module, we are going to create the most advanced DIY security camera or surveillance camera. This advanced security system eliminates the need for physically installing laser sensors and motion sensors. So, if anyone crosses this virtual laser, a buzzer connected to an Arduino board will be activated. Currently, I have used just one virtual laser, but you can use multiple virtual lasers if you wish. You can also place this virtual laser above a wall so if an intruder comes over the wall, the buzzer will be activated. Not only that, you can define a specific area and whenever someone enters or exits that area, the buzzer will be activated. Anyway, this project is entirely based on my previous two tutorials. In first tutorial, I explained the most basic things such as how to perform wireless live video streaming using the ESP32 game module, how to install Python OpenCV and YOLO V3 and how to detect and identify different objects. In my studio, I detected and identified various objects and not only did I identify and trick birds and gates, but I also displayed alert messages on the screen. In the second tutorial, I created an automatic car barrier or gate opening and closing system. I used the ESP32 camera module along with Python OpenCV YOLO V3 for car identification and tracking. In this project, I used two lines to control the car barrier Barrier. When the car crossed the first line, the barrier would open and when the car crossed the second line, the barrier would close. So I have already explained all of these things and I won't repeat them today. Today I will only explain new things including number one, post landmarks. Number two, how to install MediaPipe. It's a powerful library and provides easy to use Python APIs for various tasks including landmark detection. Number three, the Arduino circuit diagram and programming and finally number four, Python programming. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, let's start with types of landmarks. We have mainly three types of landmarks. Number one, pose landmarks. Number two, facial landmarks. And number three, hand landmarks. The facial and hand landmarks I will explain and use in one of my upcoming videos. In this particular project, we will only focus on pose landmarks. In Python, pose landmarks refer to the specific points or key points that represent the positions of various giants and body parts within a human pose. These landmarks are typically detected and tracked using computer vision techniques and libraries. Pose estimation involves identifying and tracking the positions of joints such as shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees and ankles to infer the overall body pose and its orientation. By detecting and analyzing pose landmarks, it becomes possible to understand the structural configuration and movement of a person's body. Pose landmarks can be used for various applications such as activity recognition, motion analysis, human-computer interaction, sports analytics and augmented reality. Anyway, we have got multiple key points and the good thing is we can detect and trick any of these key points. You are free to use all the key points or some of these key points or a single key point. It's totally up to you. Well, in my case, I'm going to detect a specific lane mark 31 on a person's body using the media pipe library in Python. So whenever this lane mark crosses a line or a virtual laser, the buzzer is turned on. If you learned how to trick the x-axis and y-axis location of a single key point on the body then you can do it for all these key points and then you would be able to detect and identify any pose. On my design Arduino Nano development board the Firefold puzzle is connected to the Arduino digital pin D8. You can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino programming. For this project you don't need to add any library. You can see the buzzer is connected to the Arduino digital pin D8. In the white setup function I set the buzzer is output using the pin mode function and I also activate the serial communication and 9600 is the baud rate. In the white loop function, we constantly check the serial port. If the data is received from the Python and it's available on the serial port, then we simply read the serial port and store the received character and variable signal. Then using these two if conditions, we check if the received character is 1 or 0. If it's 1, then it means someone has crossed the line or virtual laser and 
that the buzzer has stand on. Else if there is no one, then the Python sends zero to the Arduino and then the Arduino turns off the buzzer. So that's all about the Arduino programming. For the live video streaming, I'm using ESP32K module and as I said earlier, I'm not going to explain how to set up your ESP32 camera for the live video streaming because I have already explained it in my first video. I'm using the same setup and nothing has changed. In that video, I have also explained how to install Python and OpenCV. The only thing that I didn't cover is the media pipe library installation. Anyway, let's go ahead and install media pipe library. Simply open the command prompt and type pip install media pipe. As you can see, the requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Python program that detects and track a specific landmark and send commands to the Arduino to control a buzzer. This code is designed to detect a specific landmark 31 on a person's body using the media pipe library in Python. The purpose is to activate a buzzer when the landmark crosses a defined line which I call as a virtual laser. Anyway, let's go through the code step by step. First, the necessary libraries are imported. CV2 for computer vision operations, media pipe for pose estimation, numpy for numerical operations, url lib.request for opening a url and serial for establishing a serial connection with an Arduino. Next, the url for the video feed is specified. In this case, it is set to this url which suggests that the code is accessing a video stream from an IP camera. A video capture object is created using cv2.video capture to access the default camera of the device. The code then initializes is the MP pose object for pose estimation using media pipe and creates an instance of the pose estimation model. This line of code defines the line coordinates. A serial connection is established with an Arduino board using the serial.serial .serial function. Make sure you select the correct communication port and baud rate. You can check in the device manager which port your Arduino board is connected to. In my case, it's connected to communication port 5. A boolean variable buzzer underscore active is initialized as false. This variable keeps track of whether the lane mark has crossed the line or not. Inside the main loop, the code retrieves an image from the specified URL using URL lib.request.url open and converts it to a numpy array. The captured frame from the video feed is read using cap.read function. If the frame is not successfully captured, the loop breaks. The RGB image is obtained by converting the captured frame from BGR to RGB using CV2 dot cvt color the pose estimation model processes the rgb image to detect the lane marks using pose dot process the detected lane marks are stored in the results variable the line is drawn on the image using cv2 dot line based on the defined line coordinates if there are post lane marks detected in the results the code proceeds to draw the lane marks on the image using mp draw dot draw underscore lane marks the specific lane mark of interest lane mark 31 is extracted and it's x and y coordinates on the image are calculated. A circle is drawn on the image at the location of plane mark 31 using cv2.circle. If the visibility of plane mark 31 is greater than 0.5, it means the lane mark is clearly visible. The code checks if the x coordinate of the lane mark is less than both x coordinates of the line. If this condition is met, it means the lane mark has crossed the line. If the buzzer underscore active variable is false, the code sends the signal signal 1 to the Arduino board to turn on the buzzer and the buzzer underscore active flag is set to true. If the visibility of thin mark 31 is below the threshold or the x coordinate is not less than both x coordinates of the line it means the lane mark has not crossed the line. In this case the buzzer underscore active variable is set to false and the code sends the signal 0 to the Arduino board to turn off the buzzer. The resulting image withdrawn then marks and the line is displayed using cv I am sure. The loop continues until the Q key is pressed. At this point, the video capture is released using cape.release function and all windows are closed using cv2.destroy.